on. How cold are you? Pretty chilly. Pretty uh, chilly right now. I'm not I, as cold I, as you are. <laughs> well, my hands are, hands are shaking. shaking. I have one in the glove, but then to talk to you guys, I have to keep it with the other one. No. His hands are like this. Dude, it's freezing. I'm putting you guys away, all right? I'll talk to you in a minute. I gotta put my mask and my gloves on because I am dying. Look who it is. It's the man of the hour, the VIP. Hello, Say everyone. I'll see you later. <laughs> I was talking about Ian. Uh, I'll see you later. Okay, well, not ski. Please say hello to everybody. Hello, hello everyone. How are you feeling? Uh, too much cold. <laughs> yeah. But you're a strong man. Oh, but good weather. Yeah. Behold, everyone, this is the majestic mountains of Hokkaido, and we are walking towards igloos. This is Skidibetsu Lake. Skidibetsu Lake. Skidibetsu. Skidibetsu. Yeah. Can you translate that for me? It's hard with Hokkaido, right? Because a lot of the places around Hokkaido are named after Ainu words. Oh, really? Yeah. So, I don't know if this one is, but a lot of them have very unique sounding place names because they're originally not Japanese. Well, thank you. Great teacher. Paul, also, Van Gang returnee. Oh, Yo, hey. Your I'll second you, stint. I will show you the shirt. I'm wearing the Van Gang shirt. He is wearing the Van Gang shirt. I don't want to die. <laughs> hey, what's up, Chris? You want to introduce yourself to the people at home? Hey, he and... Thanks, mate. You. You. Oh, hey. One How did he get the name, the affable one? Hello guys. Welcome to Journey Across Japan, deep freeze. So we're about to go onto <laughs> this uh, a lake covered with igloos. And uh, I've got a few surprises for us today. Yep. You guys are going to do some Something challenges out. Expose yourself or something. <laughs> Please don't do that. All right, I will not do that. Not again. No, not again. On camera. So what is this right here? The Shikaribetsu Kotan. I can read English, Japanese. That's great, yeah. yeah you could read anything. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Oh, neato. QR code. Don't scan my QR code. So here's how it's going to work. I'm going to give you guys the breakdown. Since I'm actually here on business, I'm going to give you guys some behind the scenes on how the sausage is made with my guy Paul. Yo, and I got my guy Ian. And then the other boys, they're, they're, they're actually dead set on filming like serious stuff here. So what I'm going to do is try to provide you guys a bit of behind the scenes stuff, a little bit of hanging out. But I might have to keep my distance a little bit because they're recording off. And, and throughout the thing, I might join in on the video for a couple of bits and pieces. Look at this view. I don't know if you guys can fully grasp how badass this looks, but this is sick. Did they all wear the same outfit? We're all wearing the warmest things that we possibly can because my hands are shaking. We're on a lake right now? We are currently on a frozen lake right now. That's insane! There is an entire, there's an insane thick layer of ice right below us. Wow! Yeah. This is amazing! If you go inside the igloo there, it's actually a lot warmer than it is out here. Which is the idea, right? Which is supposed to be the idea. Yeah, that they built these not to get colder but to shield themselves from the element. Let's go take a look in an igloo. <sighs> Here's some money. Wow. Real and true, phone gloves are the biggest scam. Right? This is so sick. This is no scam. This is the real deal. Igloo. Imagine if this is actually bigger than my apartment in Tokyo that I just bought. Honestly, I should just move here. Bigger than Ian's studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 So this is my place for the evening. Let's sit down on my igloo bed. Ah, oh, here's the view from the, oh, it's like a nice little, I am laying on the backpack, so this is the last thing you see. Well, he's gonna come in and film. You can sit there. Welcome. Oh, it's Natsuki. Wow, welcome. Hey, buddy. Oh. Welcome to my igloo home. How many guests? Oh, nanny Okay. <laughs> hey, Chris. Hey, what yeah. do you think? Wow. It's really cool. Yeah? I don't think I've ever been in Igloo before. Uh, oh, I was here when you found me. But yes, oh. uh, actually, I've been in one one time before. Uh, in Kansas, we had a summer camp where we built an Igloo, and ours was nowhere near as impressive as this. Did you say summer camp? Uh, winter camp. Right. Sorry. <laughs> in Kansas. <laughs> break the rules of physics. It's so cold that my brain has stopped <laughs> operating. Right. But what do you think? Oh, man. Yeah, it's cool. Oh, there must be a day in March when it melts or it just collapses mm. on itself, right? Natural, yeah. natural. Yeah, like naturally, does crush. it does it just destroy itself? Oh. Or? Well, hopefully the people are gone by then because we're on top of a lake, yeah, and so somebody, they'd be oh. sinking down. Yeah. Well, you guys can come back anytime. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. Hey, uh, I'll be here if you need me. <sighs> they never stay long enough. 
but I have a new guest, so let's go. Hey, gentlemen. How's it feeling? Yeah, it feels so nice. Does it really? Like, at first it kind of hurts, probably because of the sulfur. But then once you actually get your foot in, it's, I don't want to get out. You should we try. Ah, how about just my head? Yeah. <laughs> you, you can hold me down. All right, let's let's touch grass, but the uh, let's touch water. Your, your hands work for easy, so. All right, let me it get. Hot. Watch out. Ooh, man. <laughs> oh, oh, that feels good. Uh oh, that's. It feels nice, but I'd rather it be my feet, honestly. Yeah. I bet that feels so good. Bro, I, oh man, that feels great. I don't Oh, it feels so nice. I bet the, I bet the actual, like, North there feels amazing. Is there another one in there? Like there, the, there's a full one. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go. <laughs> full naked. All right, I'll leave you guys here. We're going to try to go grab you a towel, all right? All right. See you in a minute. Oh, my hand. Shimada-san. Ah, Shimada-san. Yoroshiku onegai shimasu. This is Peter. His name is Peter or Premier too. So, Ima, tabun... Haishin desu. How many people watching? 2,000, around. 2,000. Hi, everybody. Here is Lake Shikari desu in Hokkaido. Mountains National Park. Really? Yeah. Wow. Mountains National Park is bigger than Tokyo. You're bigger than Tokyo? Bigger than Tokyo. And we have a frozen lake. Yes, you stand on the frozen lake. You stay on the frozen lake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here is uh, over 40 meter depth. Wow. Really? Yeah. So in the summertime, this is very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, very beautiful. You can enjoy canoeing around here. Really? Yeah, kayaking and forest walking. Uh, so it's very good. And you work here year round? Yes, I'm a nature guide here. Ah, so which, if you're being honest, which do you think is the best time to visit? Now, during the snow, or summer for the nature? Every time. Okay, <laughs> what a salesman. Oh, but but uh, if you want to enjoy uh, summer season, uh, around June uh, is better. Warm and green. Mm. Uh, start up. Mm. Uh, good sunshine. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Shimada. Shimada. And winter. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Thank you. Winter is great. Domo shishimashita. Lake Shikarabi. Yeah, Shikaribetsu. So this is what it kind of looks like, I guess, during the. Uh, that's actually a picture. Never mind. I see the bagel, man. Oh, I like to see the meal. That is not a bagel. Um, that is. Where's the hole? Oh, it is a bagel. That's a very small hole. I'm getting that. I'm getting the beef stew bagel. I can't move you guys much. That's what you get. That's the food. That's good as hell. Show the bagel. Served on a... Look at that. Look at that bagel. Slightly toasted. Now, ooh, a little crisp. Hot. Right. Let's see if this bagel's any good. Look at that. Mm. Oh, you should it. Not bad. I'm going to go with this curry first. I'm going to get a little taste. Beef? Beef more than potato. That's good. Mm. Beef more than. I have I no potato. <laughs> <laughs> One potato. Ah, mushroom. Yeah, this this is really good. Let's try this bagel. Let's go. Mmm. That's good. Oh my God! It's deep freeze ball. Oh. Look at that shot, my friends. There's the van gang. Do you want to see a good view? You've come to the right place. There is mountains of North Japan. It's most impressive view. Hey, Ian, I gotta go to the bathroom. Can you take these guys for a second? Hi, chat. Uncle Ian here again. I'm gonna show you what we're actually here to see. There is a train station over here. I don't, don't know if you can see that in front. And uh, essentially, it closed in 1987. But the name, Korfgu, means like, happiness. So, it is now owned by this town's residents association, I believe. And it's not been knocked down and it stayed there. And people come and write little notes of happiness. Let's go check out the vending machine. <laughs> Looks cute. What do they sell? Uh, um, curry 
and uh, I don't know, all kind of pink related things. Oh, okay, I get it. So you buy one of those, uh, these from the gift shop for 220 yen, it's about a dollar fifty, and you sign them. Yeah. Can you get the, the other people? Yeah. And stick them in the train carriage. Can we, go can, we, can we go in the train carriage? Uh, I'll try this one on the right. Peter. Yeah. You're it's doing amazing. a you're doing a fantastic job. You yeah. have to stay in the train. I and would love Joey to. Joey too. They're, they're going to come. They're oh. going to film walking oh, okay. in. Let's Look go at this in. place, man. This wow. is still this is still the train that it was. Is this still better than the, when I took you on the Northern Line in London? <laughs> yes. It's considerably nicer. Yes. It doesn't smell like piss either. It's no, it smell, somehow despite being old, it smells better. I, I love these like old school train aesthetics. It's so cool. Yeah. It's, uh, it, what's crazy to me is that normally in a place like America or something, this would all be rope. What did you do? Oh, that's the bell. I pulled oh. the bell. Okay, yeah, I thought I broke something, so it pulled it and it rang. It, these would all be kind of like closed off, and you mm. can't even check, it, especially without like a ticket or some sort of supervision. Yeah, right. So when it got hot, huh? This was the thing. Yeah. So there would be buttons uh, behind you. There's one right there as well. So people could turn it on and off whenever it get hot. I wonder if there was ever an argument of like, you know, somebody comes in here and they turn it off because they're like, yep. yeah, and yep. then this other guy's like, F you turn yeah. it back it's on. Like, you're hot. Yeah. But yeah, 1929. This 19 was opened up. What? Yeah. And it closed in 1987. Yeah. Okay. Oh God, it's going to be loud again. Headphone users, uh, you might want to turn them down or something. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, we are rolling. Jesus Christ. <laughs>